1972 Morgan 44. So that's the four seater car. It's a 1600 litre petrol carburetor engine, this one. With the wet weather gear. Very, very presentable, unusable car, this. And again, these Morgan, Morgans have quite a following for them these days. They always did, but there's uh, plenty of people that appreciate what this is. Like I say, 1972, this one. Body weight wise, we're going to start off with the bonnet, work our way around the car into the interior, and then we're going to start it up. The chrome trim's all nice and presentable up the middle of the bonnet. We come up the right hand side here, all nice and tidy. Few little marks on the chrome trim where the bonnet's been opened. Nice and straight down the rest of the rest hand side, right hand side, around these press bonnet vents. There's no cracking in the paint there. Up the left hand side, you've got a few little bits down the front on the left hand corner where the bonnet's hit the nose cone. Again, very, very presentable, this one. Nice and straight up there. It's obviously been painted and had some money spent on it at some point in its life. A few little chips at the back edge of the bonnet. And a little one down here on the pressing on the left-hand side. But all in all, no cracking around there. Nice and straight on the tin weight on the bonnet. Down the left-hand side, like I say, there's a few little chips at the front. Onto that big nose cone. All nice and presentable. Apologies about the noise there. There's a big old steam train go flying past there. Nice and straight and tidy down the front nose cone there. Like I say, no major marks out with fins. Headlamps are lovely and clear, as are the indicators. See down the lower half here, very, very tidy, no corrosion to the metal work around the lights on the lower half of the wings there where you normally get some rot. Not a few little stone chips, but that's all to be concerned about. On both sides there, a few little touch-ins, which the camera is picking up there, no problem. The bumper itself, the chrome works are okay. There's a few little, little dings and dents in the chrome work on the bumper. As we come around the wheel arch, we've got no big scuffs or scrapes down the wheel arch. All nice and pres presentable down this uh, right-hand right side onto the running board. And the right-hand side of the bonnet, all the tin works good. Around the bonnet clasps, nice and tidy. And again, around those pressings, there's no cracking in the paint at all there. Wheels are painted steels with a chrome hubcap. They're all okay. There's a few little chips to those, a little bit of curbing on the edge of that. Down the right hand side running board, all nice and tidy. It wants a good polish in places. With it being cream, it sort of does show up a little bit of dirt. The doors are all okay. You'll see you've got the wet weather gear. Nice and tight, that roof. We'll have a quick look at that. All the windows are lovely and clear. It's a lift off roof, not a fold away. So you just lift the whole thing off and the frame slides down into the back section here so the frame stays on and the actual hood itself just lifts off it's lovely and taut fits nice and tight across the front there on all the press studs lovely and tight into the window channels obviously these windows uh, the top half of the doors just lift off you can see the brackets there to hold them on but that's all in lovely lovely condition no rips or tears like i say nice and taut all the windows are lovely and clear Back to the bodywork now, you've got a little bit of a crack here in the paintwork on the right hand side, just in front of the wheel arch there. As you come around the wheel arch, a few stone chips at the front edge there, but that's all to be concerned about on the arch itself. No corrosion coming through, all nice and straight. Have a look at that wheel and tyre as well on the right hand rear. As we come around the corner, again, light lenses are lovely and clear on both sides. Got no major marking or corrosion around the fuel cap. The back bumper has some very, very light pitting in it, but very, very presentable. A little bit of a crack by the Morgan badge there. Nice and straight across the lower half with the spare wheel with the correct hub cap on. Looks nice and straight from the back there. As we come around the left hand side again, nice and tidy around the wheel arch. Got a few little marks on the arch itself. A little bit of a scuff here. Bit of a crack in the paint on the wheel arch on the left hand side. But you've sort of got to be at least half a foot away. You can see a few little marks on the lower half there, but no corrosion again. Nice and straight as we come round. The arch, no corrosion coming through on the paint side of things. And lovely and tidy up that big sweeping running board there. Onto these little rear quarters again. There's a few little marks in the paint here on the left-hand side. Door itself's nice and tidy. And as is the wet weather gear on the left-hand side. It all fits nice and snug into the channels. All nice and taut across the left-hand side. As we come up that lovely big sweeping running board once again to see no corrosion, but a few marks in the paint, but overall a very, very presentable and usable car. 
with the added bonus for those extra two seats in the rear just makes it a little bit more family friendly these days into the front left uh, right hand door again nice and tight you can see they've put the chains on here just to make that door a little bit easier to open the seats themselves a little, few little marks on the on the bolster are there but no major rips or tears a little bit of a nick on the piping on the right hand side but all in all nice and presentable in there dashboards nice and tidy no cracking across the dials all the rocker switches are nice and clean as well inside of the roof you can see how clean the inside of the roof line is there a lift that seat forward so it have a look at those back seats all nice and tidy and presentable no major rips or tears at all in there just shut this door and we'll go around to the left hand side Once I open the door here, the door seems to is locked, so James is going to open the door for me. If you bear with us a second there. Just pop that door open, James, if you don't mind. Yeah. Just will you put it open? Bit of dodgy camera work here for a second. Thank you, James. Sorry about that. Again, door cards nice and tidy there. All nice and straight on the seat itself a little bit of a nick out the pipe on the lower section lower it forward again nice and tidy on the rear seats have a good look at that there we'll have a look at the dashboard and the interior from the left hand side close that door now it's obviously a lot easier to open the doors when the wet weather gear is off into the engine bay i say a 1.6 litre single carburetor engine uh, and it looks to me to be uh, a 1600 ford engine that if you check on our website james will detail all that information mechanically on the button i've got no complaint to that at all it's firing straight into life no one wanted noises or rattles from that that's as smooth as those little cross flows get there like smooth as that's going to come lovely and straight there no one wanted noises from that at all. This just pops straight back down. You push your clips down, the bonnet will close. And there you have it. The Morgan 4.4 there, 1600. Petrol engine, single carburetor with wet weather again, cream 